Hi, I'm Heather Klimchak, Minister of Human Services, and I'm so proud to lead a department that is about helping Albertans have access to resources so they can improve their quality of life and reach for success. We do that by working with our community partners and stakeholders to provide a wide range of supports and services across this province. Our work is based on respecting the strengths of individuals and families and delivering programs that are innovative, focused on prevention, and making a positive difference in the lives of Albertans. Budget 2015, which was tabled by the Provincial Finance Minister today, respects these principles by responding to what is needed today and planning to benefit Albertans for the longer term. This is a tough economy, but we have protected essential services and programs. In fact, our overall investment in these programs and services has been increased by almost 2%, providing an overall $4.2 billion budget for human services. This increase will help maintain high standards of support for communities and families and accommodate the growing number of people accessing services. With this budget, we are protecting services for the vulnerable, including age and disabilities. We are encouraging and supporting innovation in how services are delivered to Albertans. We are protecting frontline staff and services. And we are finding efficiencies to improve how effective we are in serving Albertans. Alberta's programs and services that make a positive difference for people with disabilities or who are not working are among the best in Canada. For adults who are not working, financial assistance will continue through the 53 Alberta work centres that offer employment and training services to help Albertans affected by labour market changes. Our province is also a leader in using and encouraging innovative approaches that support vulnerable people. Alberta's Housing First approach has provided more than 10,600 people with housing and assistance since 2009. Supporting someone through Housing First costs approximately 80% less than having a chronically homeless person in an emergency room, hospital or jail. More importantly, it means they have the help they need to make positive changes in their lives that can lead to employment and independence. Earlier this year, we were the first province in Canada to introduce a plan that targets the specific needs of youth experiencing homelessness. This is one of the many ways we are looking at keeping children and youth safe, either with their families or on their own. With this budget, we continue to help break the cycle of child poverty by targeting root causes. This includes investments in early intervention and prevention to build new generations of strong, self-reliant Albertans. These investments up front mean fewer interventions later in life and citizens fully participating in their community and the economy. Alberta is also addressing early childhood development and family and sexual violence. We have deferred some new programs so that we could balance priorities and still invest in areas of critical importance. We worked hard to protect funding of $76 million for family and community support services. And we will continue to work with FCSS partners, government partners and local groups to ensure positive results and build strong, vibrant communities. Another way we support families is through approved childcare. I am proud to say that Alberta's child care subsidies have increased 18% since 2010. We now have nearly 105,000 child care spaces throughout Alberta to support parents who are working or attending school. This includes some innovative child care programs and women's shelters for mothers who are escaping domestic violence. Funding is also maintained in this year's budget for sexual assault services and shelters serving youth, homeless people and women. These types of supports are critical for people who are rebuilding their lives after sometimes years of being abused and harmed in their relationships or who need a helping hand to make positive changes in their lives. By focusing on providing the right services at the right time and in the right place, we will be able to redirect resources to enhance supports for people who need them. Contracted service providers are important partners in providing the services Albertans need. And we will continue working with these partners to find opportunities to be even more efficient 
and effective. Whether we want to think about it or not, the challenges that thousands of Albertans face every day are very real. If we want everyone in our province to have opportunities to fulfill their potential and to benefit from the overall good quality of life we have in Alberta, we need to make sure our programs and services are sustainable for the long term and that they deliver results. Human Services is committed to continuing helping Albertans reach for success. Thank you for your support of children, families and Albertans in need.